hello welcome back to my youtube channel kindly consider subscribing also like share and drop a comment this is what happens when river nyando bursts it affects all the other rivers around back at home we are reconstructing the house and i've had it's almost flooding again so i've just come to check out the situation I have some friends living along this river at the far edge. I just hope they are fine. Back at home, there are boys reconstructing this house, that lower part, as they remove remaining stuff in the house. And myself, I'm doing the cleaning because they are totally muddy. That's my bed, some tables, shoe rack. And there are still some things inside that cannot be removed now because they are heavy and delicate and it could drain any time. I'm saving this video for my daughter. It flooded when she was two weeks old and now when she's two years old. It flooded while I was away and I'm grateful to those who helped me remove this stuff from my house to this place. This room is almost like a rescue center. Every time it floods, we are here. This bed also, it saves us any time. <laughs> I've just hanged this mosquito net Kijuakali because there are lots of mosquitoes now. The boys are almost done. These are some of our neighbors' sons. They came to help. They, they've just had their lunch and they are back to work. And those are the utensils they used. Grateful to mother in law, she cooked something for them. Some of them are already leaving to attend to duties back at home. After the long drought, we prayed for the rains. It rained and it poured in excess. We have a visitor coming by the gate. Nilienda kufunga gate kondo wasitoke. We have palm trees and ashok trees growing here so they are surrounded with thorns so that the sheep don't eat them. They keep eating them, derailing their growth. In this compound only the main house did not get flooded. Now this is the aftermath of the floods and we are reconstructing. Looks pathetic. The floor is totally dirty and it only has to be washed after the place that has been reconstructed dries. These are some of the things that couldn't be taken outside because it could drain again anytime. My chairs, the baby coat and some other stuff. I have a lot of thorough cleaning to do. This is how the bedroom looks like. Someone would ask, why are you still living there after the first flood? Well, money is hard to come by. So lazima to Jipange to live in that dream house. There's my mosquito net and the mattress. Our time in this house is numbered and we trust God for a better house in the near future. That's how the floor looks like. Terrible. I'm grateful this time round the floods didn't affect the electricity so it's still working. My clothes are drying on the hanging line. Did laundry first thing in the morning today. The visitor that came just brought us vegetables. Hmm. 
and this is taraji my treasure right now i want to do the dishes i start with the cups and the cutlery and i'm halfway through Then I wash the plates. I'm done with the plates and I'm almost through washing all the utensils. Next I wash the thermos and the sufurias. I'm done washing all the utensils. I'm just going to take them inside. This hen was given to Taraji by my parents. We went to visit them shortly. How often do you visit your parents? Keep it a habit to see them while they're still alive. And if you don't have, I'm sorry. Come, let's share mine. Tired and dirty. Time to take a shower. Take these things somewhere clean and safe. Then take a power nap. thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe until the next one bye and keep safe